Maybe I should increase the ejection force. Okay, abort, abort. Do the SpaceX thing and abort. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. And we are going to do the week challenge, the weekly challenge number 11, which is the ESA Juice mission. And what that basically is, is we're going to launch a rocket and send a satellite to Joule, which is the equivalent of Jupiter. Yeah, Jupiter. And then what that mission, the ESA mission is, is it will basically go to, to Jupiter, then to the few moons. And that's basically also our, how can I put it, the challenge we have to do. But if we can primarily just get to Jewel, then it should be satisfied, the, the challenge. But we can try to go for the other moons as well. So let me show you guys the rocket that I've made. Here we go. It is a very small rocket. It's not, you know, something extraordinary or anything. It's a very, very light satellite that we have in here in the fairing. And yeah, we got a couple of SRBs and some monopropellant and whatnot. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to try to launch and ditch the two sides, the, the SRBs at the sides. Then what we will try to do is use the rest of this fuel to get us to Joule or in a orbital path to Joule. And then whatever happens then you know like then we're gonna detach the satellite and try to like i would try to be as efficient as po efficient <laughs> not inefficient efficient as possible and uh just trying to get us to jewel at least so yeah let's go to the launch pad and launch here we are at the launch pad it is a very beautiful morning i would say i think it's morning i wish it was like a local time as well <laughs> you know not not just this um just to show like it's morning and, uh, oh, that is beautiful. Just like that. Oh, wow. That is a screenshot for the books. Wow, that's so good. Okay. So, we're going to launch. We're going to go towards the east. And try to get into orbit. And see how things go. In 3, 2, 1, launch. 1.3 thrust to weight ratio. We are good. Let's keep you pointing straight up. And it kind of looks stable-ish. There's a few reaction wheels I did put in, but very tiny ones, more for the satellite than anything else. Uh, we're approaching our speeds. Let's go ahead, stability off, and then start turning towards the... This way. Okay, and then we'll just tell you to point towards the prograde marker. Okay, 90 degree, 91, 90. Okay, why are you still stuck? Why is this thing still stuck? Maybe I should increase the ejection force. Okay, abort, abort. Do the SpaceX thing and abort. <laughs> okay, we're back. It's a little bit later, but uh, I added some bigger rockets or boosters to the sides to give us a bit more oomph and added a tiny amount of winglets as well. And these hinges, what are they called? Uh, separators. They already have the maximum push away force. So, yeah, that's that. Anyways, let's go ahead and launch in 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, a bit of a drift there. Okay, we're going way, way up now. There we go. And we can do this. All right. We're back, and I managed to get us into a nice, almost circular orbit. And I think, are we flying? No, we're not. I thought we are going over the KSP, but we just passed it. I, no, I think everything had just happened here. Anyways, so, here we are. And now, our mission is to go to Jewel. We have 1,100 Delta V left in here, but we still have, um, I think, you know, around 
2000 or something, maybe a bit more, in a butt end. Or front end, actually. <laughs> butt end? Why? Uh, so as far as I can understand, your transfer window should be like, if you draw from Jewel to Kerbal, I think we kind of missed it. But the optimal transfer window is like a 90 degree, in a way, in a sense. So I think we're, we are a little bit past that. Let me just see. We have to exit going to the right because we are going into a bigger orbit. Okay, so I managed to get an encounter over here. It's not very good, but it's something. And I don't know what's going on. Like the AC or the ascending node and descending node just keep shifting. And I, I can't for the life of me try to get it like on a zero de inclination. And uh, yeah, but anyways, I think we're just going to what we that's like old school KSP or KSP one. What we're going to do is just like we're going to try to get an encounter like this. We're going to execute the burn and then we'll make adjustments along the way. Um, hopefully this will be enough. So, yeah. OK, so we are 40 seconds away. Uh, the mono propellant I just noticed, we don't have a lot. I should not have used mono propellant at all. That is uh, very, very terrible for me. Like, but luckily we do have a reaction wheel on. So the um, the reaction wheel on the little satellite should be able to do it. I mean, we did see the the ship react correctly without any RCAs. So it's not a big deal if we do run out. We do have some uh, reaction wheels in this ship. Okay. So, here we go. So it's a minute burn. I am. It is quite a long burn. All right, welcome back. So we have a little satellite, it's deployed. We still have about a thousand Delta V to go. And very good news is that we do have a dual encounter. Plus I did some changes um, on our way towards Jewel, And we are gonna go over about 400 kilometers above the planet and well from its ground surface let's put it that way um i think it's atmospheric height starts at 200 meters 200,000 meters which is 200 kilometers so i just doubled up on that just to be double sure and yeah so once we get to jewel we will circulate and then what we can do is try to visit each of the moons there in some way or another okay time up to the planet please oh wow whoa jeez oh look how green it is wow if we do have delta v left what i want to try to do is crash into this planet i just want to see how it looks like on the inside if it's possible I mean, we can't, uh, we, I don't think we can do it. We have a cheaty, cheaty way. All right, welcome to Jewel, everybody. Oh, look how cool this looks like. Oh, and there's even a moon back there. Wow, this is amazing. Amazing. Okay. So let me quickly go check what, you know, what are the moons? We have to visit, and then I'll just plot a plan to get to the first one. We'll be right back. <laughs> 